Madison isn't the only place that's seeing demonstrations today. There are other rallies happening across the state and across the country. In Washington, D.C., pro-choice supporters gathered outside the Supreme Court and pro-life advocates rallied on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Grace Hodak continues our team coverage. She has you covered on what politicians on both sides of the aisle are saying they plan to do to advocate for their beliefs. Caroline, abortion access for many states in the Midwest and South has changed dramatically over the past year. More than a dozen states have banned most or all abortions, and more bans appear to be on the way. Right now, North Carolina is on the front line of this issue. The state legislature just passed an abortion ban overriding the governor's veto. That's where Vice President Kamala Harris is today. Harris's senior advisor says the vice president wants women to know they're not alone in this fight. It is clear where this is headed. Extremist Republicans in Congress have proposed to ban abortion nationwide. Nationwide. But I have news for them when I have in that. Meanwhile, the Students for Life hosted a national Celebrate Life Day rally in front of the Lincoln Memorial. Republican presidential candidate Mike Pence was there. He says, quote, the cause of life is the calling of our time. We'll never rest and never relent until we restore the sanctity of life to the center of American law in every state in the land. Country. Abortion access was a major issue in the 2022 midterm elections, and the issue was likely to play a big role again in the 2024 presidential election.